with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. Let's take one more look at our Storm Team radar here. We are seeing those snow showers pushing into central portions of the state at this time. Starting to snow up in Minot, seeing some snow showers out in Dickinson as well, and snow is on the way for Bismarck here. Looking at your, at your temperatures right now, we're in the teens out towards the east, 16 in Medina, 18 in Harvey, a bit warmer still towards the western portions of the state, hanging into those 20s, maybe even some 30s right now as well. Our winds right now are primarily out of the south, southwest or so anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour seeing some stronger gusts beginning to build in towards the west and those winds will really be increasing as we head into tomorrow afternoon likely seeing some gusts of 35 40 maybe even 45 miles per hour at times out in western areas and those winds will hang around into thursday and friday as well your wind chill report brought to you by absolute comfort plumbing and heating is showing those feel like temperatures dropping down into the single digits for most of us zero degrees is that wind chill in ashley Still some teens out towards the central and western areas, but those wind chills will really be dropping as we roll into later this week, especially with those winds coming in. So coincidentally enough, here is your wind chill forecast. It shows those wind chills dropping down to 20, maybe even 30 degrees below zero as we roll into Thursday and Friday. As we get into Saturday and Sunday, however, those feel like temperatures will be 30 40, maybe even 50 degrees below zero by 7 a.m. on Sunday. And those frigid wind chills hang around into Monday as well. So definitely for your Monday morning, even this weekend especially, definitely heed this warning and be aware that those temperatures are going to feel downright frigid. Looking at precision cast, showing those snow showers pushing in across the west western and central portions of the state. They will push off in time for tomorrow morning. However, maybe a stray flake or two out towards the east tomorrow evening. As we get into Thursday, however, you see those snow showers wrap back in towards Devil's Lake. So definitely be hanging around in those far northeastern portions of the state. Snow showers increase again across western areas as we push into Friday mainly in southwestern and northern portions of the state might see an additional inch or so from this system, but mainly focusing on the snow tonight into tomorrow, maybe a trace to an inch in most areas, an inch or two in Minot and Bismarck, and a little bit more out towards Devil's Lake as those snow bands persist into Thursday. Lows tonight will drop into the teens for most of us, some single digits out towards the far northwest, hang into some 20s in some of those central areas as well, but again, those lows will really be dropping off as we push into the later stages of the week. Tomorrow will be the warmest day of the next five days for us in Williston, 16 for a high, zero on Thursday, dropping into those 20 belows for your nighttime lows as we push towards the weekend. Dickinson shows the same trend. We're seeing below zero for our highs and our lows this weekend and early next week as well. Minot seven day forecast is showing those temperatures 19 tomorrow and below zero for late this week, the weekend and the week ahead as well. Bismarck, again, same trend, seeing some snow tonight into tomorrow, zero for a high on Friday. Then those positive readings will be disappearing for a couple of days, well below zero over the weekend and a slight, slight warm up as we head into early next week, Joel and Taylor. So maybe the outlook's positive for the week ahead. We'll have to keep, keep our eye on that for sure. I'm not excited for these chilly temperatures, that's for sure. It is winter. <laughs> Coming up next, don't miss it. We have a special KX Cup.